Fuck the Stigma is at Venice Beach. We're gonna be interviewing strangers on their take on stigma, if they even know what stigma is, and we're gonna be spreading awareness to mental health. So I work with a nonprofit, it's called Fuck the Stigma. It's great. And have you, do you know what stigma is? Yes. What is, what's your definition of stigma? Uh, stigma is uh, what's like the social or, wow, wow, well, the, wait, wait, wait. Do you know what stigma is? Stigma. Stigma is like saying you, this is a different word for saying that you think about something before you even know about it. Like you got a stigma to it. Stigma, I think that's what it means. I don't know, I'm, so, I'm gonna go with that. Just a negative connotation to like a circumstance, place, person, topic. There's a stigma with homeless people. There's a stigma with drug addicts. There's a stigma with talking about your mental health or having mental illness. Oh, so it's like basically like negative, like, like how you feel about it, but negative things. Yes. Do you think you've personally experienced stigma with anything in your life? Yes, yeah, since I was a toddler. Absolutely. Well, having living on the boardwalk, there's a stigma against people who don't have a home to go to. Yeah, and also true. living here, um, and there's a stigma on being an artist, and I'm a street artist as well. Just a stigma on a lot of things, pretty much. So have you personally experienced any stigma regarding anything? I grew up skateboarding in a time where skateboarding was really not looked at as a positive thing. It had nothing to do with what it's doing now. It was like you were a punk, you know? You were just on there to like mess things up. Jump the fence, and I had to run from cops 20 times in my life for skateboarding. So that's definitely a stigma. Have you ever struggled with like mental health and the stigma surrounding it? You know, I think the reason, one of the reasons I do art and I live on the beach freely is so that my mental states uh, can be free and aren't so suffocated. So, yes. My family have mental health. Yeah? Yes, my family, uh, my mom and dad had 11 kids. And uh, my last name is 11 letters, Abdul Hakim. Uh, my birthday is 9-11. Mm -hmm. The only point of me saying that because I think my family is very special. And uh, we all suffer from mental health. And people don't know how serious the awareness of mental health is. And I think people should just know that like, you know, just as somebody's strong and they could brush off certain things, somebody can't do that. Like I have a chip too, somebody say, Forget you, you're ugly. I can not, I cannot let that bother me because I work out, I play basketball, I'm very active. I'm very strong in my mind, so they let my body be strong. I think uh, we all should be a little bit lenient on people that have mental health. I feel that it's better to try and have a conversation with somebody as opposed to shun them, you know? How do you go about breaking the stigma, you think? I just went to my first AA meeting today. Shut the f Go. called muck recovery because I was like I can't do this anymore and like and I, I paint so like you know the stigma on painters is like oh you you do you do art to do drugs or do you do drugs to do art and it's like back and back and this past three days I was painting for three days straight blah 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 but I wasn't eating or sleeping and like I came out of that and I was just like dude it's not the fucking drugs it's the mental illness that I do like that happens immediately when I do the drugs so it's like and you don't realize it until afterwards a lot of people don't really have your best interest so like if they're like oh we're not gonna tell her about it she's got it she's an adult I set up just like I do right here. I have this whole booth and people come up and they'll talk to my paintings, you know, straight up. And I can be like, yo, get out of here. What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. You're scaring people, which is definitely true. But I think about the people shouldn't be scared as opposed to that person scaring the people. I think mental health in general exists in every single one of us. 100%. You know, whether we have uh, something that we think is a little disconnected at the time, that changes. Time is time is a variable thing. It's weird. It, it just like changes everything from one day to the next. I have this sweater here. It's called my adult shirt. Because I have to take my meds. Oh yeah. Every day. Every night, every day. 
I'd take my meds and I'm I'm naive to think that I don't have to, you know? So I take them. Do you think you're breaking the stigma today? For sure. How? Because um, I'm talking to you about this conversation and hopefully people see it in this place where people have mental health. Hell yeah. And everybody should be nice to everybody. That's why we come to the beach, <laughs> not to judge. Because it's a beach. Whether you have a million dollars or you have no money, it's a beach. Keep your thoughts to yourself. Everybody have mental health. Okay, well, if that's the case, shit. So, well, for one, the homeless people out here, they choose to be homeless. I've heard it, I heard it firsthand. And second, secondly, we know when it comes to alcohol and drugs and all that stuff you said, you know, everyone has their own choice and freedom of will. Uh, so, like, when they do the things they do, it's like, boom. I mean, fuck it. Like, it's to, to each his own. But, like, me personally, if it came down to me, I would cut it all. Sh like, it's one, if it was, everything was up to me, I, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be the way it is. So the stigma with drug addicts is that, like, why can't you just stop? Right? Right. Because, look, I told you I'm two years sober. You just try to sell me a margarita. I said I'm two years sober. Right, right. The thing is, is that back then I couldn't stop. Right. I couldn't just put it down because it felt like that was the only, drugs and alcohol felt like it was the only way I could live, is if I wasn't under the influence or intoxicated. So I really, at the end of the day, didn't re even have free will to do so. So that's the stigma with addiction of like, why can't you just stop? And yes, some people do choose to be homeless because that's, their, that's the lifestyle they want to live. And other people are kind of forced into that position of homelessness.